What's up party people, G5 Productions in the place to be. I got the chair bucket going on below me. But today we're gonna discuss how to replace your ground pin if you ever have that problem. Let's get it. What's up party people, welcome back to the channel. I'm Gerald and today I got my power conditioner and DMX controller built. So if you wanna see how I put that together, I'll put a card up above or you can just check the link in the description below but today I'm gonna be repairing the ground pin on the power conditioner here because as we all know from time to time these will break off especially if you mishandle them or just try to pull your cord out the wall the weird way when you're trying to get out of a gig so this one's on me and uh, why do we have to replace this in the first place because the ground pin serves as a protection not only for your equipment but for you also right so when you don't have that in, you are taking a risk by still using it with the two prongs and, and it will work. One thing that happened to me recently was I have privy to a GSG box. It's this exclusive DSP processor. You guys are not going to find that online, but just know that it makes my sound a lot more amazing. Uh, but what I want to do here is go ahead and repair this because the GSG box had problems working correctly. correctly. Okay, so in this part of the video, I want to give some feedback to Soundman Mike from MJG Sounds. He hooked me up with the GSG. You're not going to find much information on it, but just know that it's a super exclusive Secret Squirrel DSP processor that I have privy to. So thank you, Mike. All right, here's the deal. Uh, earlier today, I had the GSG box plugged directly into my uh, Monster Power Strip. And this light was not on, which when the switch is that way, um, the DSP is in the off position allowing sound to pass into the box and then right out the box so basically it's a pass through when the DSP is in the off position whether it's plugged in or not but I noticed that this light was not on when it was plugged into my power strip here so I decided to investigate and I was like hmm my ground pin mysteriously is missing from this power strip so what I did was unplug the GSG box from this power strip and put it directly into a wall socket and now the light is on so when I turn the GSG to the on position the DSP kicks in and I can hear the difference in the sound so just wanted to give you some feedback uh, if you run into that with anybody uh, making that complaint about the box that was my troubleshooting and solution to the issue but this box makes my QSC sound phenomenal. phenomenal. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is replace it. And the tools that I have to use that is a multimeter, I got some wire strippers, a screwdriver, and a knife so that I can cut the cable here, right? And then, of course, I'm gonna be replacing this end of the power cable as it is with this from my local home improvement store. So let's go ahead and take this apart. And I'm going to get the camera close up so you guys can see all of this whole process. So the first thing I want to do here is I'm going to go ahead and cut this cord off. Okay, party people. So here's the big question now. I've cut this end of the cable off and I don't know which of the three cables is hooked up to which prong. So I'm going to use the multimeter to figure that out. And the way I do that is I set this to continuity, meaning when I touch these two leads, it's going to make that sound like you hear in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and set this up for the first prong and touch uh, the green wire, see what happens. Nothing there, and then the white wire. So we know the white wire is hooked up to that prong. So next I'm gonna go ahead and hook the multimeter lead up to the other prong and see if the black or the green wire is connected to it. So here we go with the black wire. All right, so there we go. So now that I understand that the white wire is over here, the black wire is over here, and the same thing is going to happen over here. I'm going to hook the white wire over here and the black wire over here. So let's take this apart now. Okay, so now that we have this assembly all taken apart, what I did was loosen the top screws here and here just enough so I could push the cable through. There is a rubber seal inside that helps make this kind of watertight and uh, that way we can get our leads hooked up to the socket end of it. So if you'll look here a little bit closer, each one of these leads do have a different color screw. So the one where I'm gonna hook the white wire is, is gold and as we rotate around. It's silver where I'm gonna hook the black wire and then it's green where I'm gonna hook the ground wire. So let's go ahead and get that all set up. Okay. 
So we got all our leads hooked up to the prongs and now we're gonna go ahead and put this piece back into the housing. There is a slot down inside of here, if you can even see that, I'm not sure if you can. But basically it's set up in a way that you cannot really put this in the wrong way. If I tried to, it would just not fit correctly and that way um, you'll know if you've got the right orientation or not for your plug to fit in here. So mine is in the correct orientation and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make sure that I tighten these screws up here. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, we got the first one in, there's the second, and now the third. And then the last piece of this is to go ahead and tighten up these two screws which will help secure this cable in place. So there it is, party people, out with the old, in with the new. If this video was helpful to you, please leave me some comments on what you think in the comment section below. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and of course, if you want to keep up with all these cool videos, rock that bell. I'm Gerald with G5 Productions, DJ Sound and Lighting, and if you want to know more about us, hit me up at www.g5productions.com and on social media. Let's get it. Ah.